Hello people, this is Back From Our Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the S&P, but mainly we're going to take a look at the U.S. top 10 stocks and the NASDAQ, the Magnificent 7. Um, and uh, just wanted to start with the S&P as I covered the NASDAQ yesterday for the short term. So if you want to take a look at that video, uh, feel free to do so. And the NASDAQ, which has been playing out. So yesterday I was calling uh, new highs, I mean higher highs, and we did on the NASDAQ. Uh, just like we did on the S&P. So here on the S&P, I just wanted to share the overall count um, of what I think is my best guess, educated guess at the moment. Um, potential 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4. What I like about this count is a sideways 2 um, opposed to a sharp 4. And as a matter of fact, if we take a look at uh, Fib retracement, um, just actually just ratios, Wave 4 uh, found support around equality with Wave 2, so very nice um, confirmation there, um, giving us, I mean, very nice signal, giving us additional confirmation. And if we just dive into the one hour chart, similar count to the NASDAQ, uh, as a matter of fact, pretty much the same potential leading diagonal to 1, 2, and here uh, we may be set for. Um, all-time highs in the upcoming weeks. Will we? I don't know, uh, but it's, it's looking like it. Uh, it looks like we might have bottom and we are ready to resume higher. And uh, to have additional confirmation, let's take a look at the big names in the tech space. Um, so we're going to start off with Apple here, as you can see, um, which I covered a few days ago. I mean, um, it's just an update. So if you've been following, uh, you would uh, see that we are moving as expected. We moved as expected here. Uh, we were looking for upside. I think we were around here. Um, so we're looking, we're, we're moving as expected and it uh, looks like it wants to continue higher. Uh, the good thing is that we broke through 220. We found support of 220. So as long as we stay above 220, the next target would be 230. Um, and it looks like we are going to continue higher. So I'm not even sure this is five here. Uh, it's possible we are something, something like this. We might find some tr what I like to call traffic right here. So today, uh, but overall, I do see some further upside. Um, so that's Apple so far. So good. Uh, let me delete that uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft, I, w I was a bit more bearish uh, than the other. Um, and uh, so far, I would say you could assume this is some sort of wave. Um, so as you can see here, I was looking for a potential wave A. Now, um, at this point, we could also have a bottom in place. I'm not going to lie. So that is possible. So I'm going to consider we do have a bottom in place. Uh, and I'm going to... Um, and I mean, therefore, I'm going to see uh, call this a one, two. And here, so one takeaway you can learn from this is that um, if you're looking for upside and you get overlapping waves, then your best scenario is where you start to, to also, you know, after the overlapping waves, you start to get uh, gaps. You need acceleration to the upside and it needs to be strong. And that's what we're getting. So the fact we're moving out, you're so strong such a level of conviction from the market suggests we could uh, be in some you know some sort of wave three um and it looks it looks like what it's happening um so here this would be something you at so one two one two one two could you count this as one two three four five of some sort possibly squeeze five way in there. Uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, three. Yeah, I mean, possibly one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, possibly something like this, similar to Apple, um, as they do tend, all these stocks we're gonna cover today, they tend to move together. But yeah, we're all for their upside 420 uh, support. So next level be 430 right here. The next big number, uh, relatively big, obviously. Um, 
400 was a much larger number and as you saw we did find support out of 400 so here next one up is amazon so far so good once again as you can see all of these are potential diagonal in one and two which is why what, what we see in the nasdaq and the s p and they all have a similar account um, so maybe it's a bit clearer here on amazon with this so that's something that could happen here on Amazon. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So series on three and fours um, coming. And then obviously maybe something a bit bigger once we cover this gap. Uh, now, g given the fact we're very close to 180, 180 is very important. Um, so we could get resistance there. And ideally to turn even more bullish, we need to find support on top of 180. Uh, because if we actually draw a line, as I like to do here to show you, if we draw a line at 180, look at this. This, 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 this. So y you see I'm not lying when, when I talk about these numbers um, as they do provide. After all, they're all numbers, right? Uh, we are... Uh, trying to about the numbers, uh, right? Maybe. Um, your uh, meta moving as expected, uh, so we're, we were looking for upside. We are very close to ultimate high, and I'm still looking for upside to unfold. Now, it's a matter of how higher will we get. Um, logically speaking, if we want to work with the numbers, a realistic number would be 650 long term. So ideally, we can even get uh, up there. And here it looks like we one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So maybe not sure about the degree on this. Uh, but you know, if you want to be conservative, you could say this. Right here. I mean, relatively conservative, actually. I guess this is also possible. But overall, I do see for their upside. Um, Tesla, it's moving interesting. Uh, we might have bottom, to be honest. I can see a bottom in place, if you ask me, um, for a triangle. Um, if I take it a weekly, it could be clearer. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm thinking about buying myself. Uh, obviously, you know, this is, was, or will be financial advice in any way, shape, or form. Uh, remember that. Uh, but it's looking interesting in terms of Vela Wave, and uh, we found support. On we are finding support. You know, we're developing this triangle around 200, which is very good. Um, and uh, yeah, it's looking interesting. If you ask me, let's take a look at volume here on the weekly. Okay, so that's not too encouraging. Uh, Let's see on the daily if we are starting to get some volume. Okay, so yesterday's session was pretty good with nice pump from volume as well as two days ago. So you can see here, nice pump from volume. So that's that's interesting. Um, so yes, that's Tesla. Nvidia, once again, I have it like this, but we could have some sort of a bond. The long-term count for Nvidia is a bit tricky, um, not gonna lie, uh, but it looks like we could see for their upside uh, if it you know if it'll follow all the other stocks and as you can see here we may not count it as a diagonal one two three four five three four five so one two an upside so very so basically in line with everything else that is happening and once again you could count this as not with a but some sort of a bottom which would need further investigation to be honest uh, maybe let me know if you want a video on its own uh, on Nvidia uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, it could be. We could be close to something. I can see maybe one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so one twenty next would be one thirty. So maybe one thirty, we we might get some troubles. Uh, Google Alphabet. Uh, this one's different, it, ain't it? Uh. Let's look for something like this, one, two, uh, if you want to be bullish, but uh, it's a bit more bearish. I see, I hear uh, Google is going through, uh, through some issues, um, legal issues, uh, being a monopoly, 
um, so that fundamentally could also be why we're not as bullish. Um, but overall, once again, as usual, it can be wave two could be here, this wave two, this corresponding wave two. Uh, so we're gonna see, but um, you know, it looks like up, down, up. So some sort of a, I would expect one more like I right? Um, I see this as either one or a. B or two, and then I'm looking for C or three. Uh, that's the way I see it, uh, to be honest. Um, what else? Uh, then uh, the next one, uh, no, that was it. Uh, that was it. Uh, so yeah, Google, as you can see, the only one like it behind, but um, as far as I know, could be m very much due to the um, legal issues it's facing. Um, so what we're gonna see on that. Um, but it's possible that as soon as that gets sor sorted out, uh, we might just follow with the others. Uh, but yeah, that was it. As, as usual, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you want to join the Discord, it's absolutely free. The link is down below. I'm trying to go a L wave community. Um, and um, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next one. And thanks for watching.